Of course, we're just around the block here in Arlington, Texas, from where they call home. And here we go, first time we've seen the Carolina Panthers. Not the first time they've been used here in the tournament, but the first time we have seen them. And they'll start and get ready for the Christian McCaffrey show along with Cameron Newton. The cool thing here, you got Drini playing with the Patriots, and he's usually known as a run-first type player, but you got to wonder what type of offense does he have cooked up with Tom Brady at the helm. Remember, Brady gives any guy that you hot route four additional hot route options, so it really opens up the offensive possibilities. I can't wait to see what he's doing He'll go to the on air. the offensive side of the ball. Newton able to get away from one, extending the play, and it looks like he'll pick up six yards. It's going to be second and four. And when I think of Drini, not only is he so talented and do everything right from a strategic point of view but the way he approaches competitive gaming this is a young man at you know before he's even turned 21 years old i believe he's 19 20 years old tops right now this is a young man that's gotten a, a major sponsorship in complexity gaming he streams he does youtube videos yep. he's won belts and at such an early age that's so impressive the sky is the limit for this young man and there's mccaffrey had some space, but couldn't get away. That's going to bring up a third and five. By the way, I love I love the Cam Newton hot route. Where he's like, go deep. <laughs> One of the few players that have the little point. Yeah, some custom animations. Third and five. More emotion, play action, and he'll wheel it up, and McCourty's going to have six. Oh, goodness. Trini, three plays in, hasn't even touched the football on offense, and he's already got a touchdown. And right what I was gonna, I was gonna say it right as that pass was thrown, is watch how quick his reaction time is, Scott. When I talked about the old man stick earlier in the show, Trini doesn't have any of those <laughs> problems. As soon as the quarterback even cocks back his arm to begin to throw, Trini's already clicking onto that defender, trying to cut underneath. And if, if you want to see something really cool, pay attention to that on defense. Just watch how able and willing he is to quickly click on and make the play himself, whether it's a pick, a tackle. It's very impressive. It's one of those small things that separates the men from the boys. And uh, Drini's definitely a full-grown man when it comes to clicking on. So we got Drini, Go, Sirius Mo, all playing right now with this very moment. And let's see if Big Time changes something up here. That ain't good. That's going to be a loss of three. You're playing against one of the best defenders, especially user defenders in Madden football. Mixing up You're his playing the champ. Mix, playing the champ, mixing up his coverages. He came out in that 3-4 odd on first down, gets a loss of down, goes to that nickel formation, gives a new look. Newton. Able to use his legs, make it third and manageable here from the 29-yard line. And, and if you're big tie, you got to be willing to take that. Greeny, you're going to have to show him that you are willing to take that before he does something like that. A lot of players don't have that type of discipline. It'll be interesting to see if big tie's willing to go back to that well of uh, scrambling with Cam Newton. If you're not, then why did you choose the Panthers? That's one of their strengths. Newton here on third down. Has X wide right. open. Nice read. And Samuel will get close to midfield. Just his second pass of the game. Both were completed, though. One to McCordy and now one to Samuel. <laughs> See what you did there. That was a nice play. Good pocket. Drini had a spy on the field that took away some of the pressure he was sending. And big time taking advantage of it. He's going to hurry up here. Second and seven. I formation. Now the receiver's in close here at the 48-yard line. Plus territory. And big time will drop it down to Moore. Is it big time? Is it big time menu? I think it's big time in you. 
Big time. But hey, I'll, it could be big thank you menu. Uh, thank you menu. Well, here's the thing. Big if he time wins the game, you. he'll have the opportunity <laughs> to correct us. Eight, eight. It's a Third and three. Needs <laughs> three yards here at the 44. Newton, quick throw. Christian McCaffrey will hold on. Just like that, he strings a couple first downs together. And remember, McCaffrey has that running back apprentice ability, so when you hot route him out of the backfield, he gets those four additional hot routes, and that Texas route that he just threw right there is one of them. So you could pretty much get McCaffrey on a Texas route out any passing play in this playbook. And that's tough to stop. Hey, Kamara is another guy that put on those angle routes. Second. And seven now at the 37. Cam. Oh, yeah, he's no. Be dropped. Can't Big time that. losses. Collins able to get to the QB. Can't go from a second and seven to a third and 18 against Drini. Look for Drini to send the goons right here. Lurk like an animal. And put Big Ty in an awkward position. Here you go. Here you go. Dollar defense here on third and 18. Here we go. Looks like he's playing coverage. Yeah, it's coverage defense. Oh, what a dart! Oh, and the corner somehow throw. gets there. He threw a bullet pass and it needed a little touch. The difference, Scott, if he just pass led that up with the left stick and put everything he had into it, he probably has a touchdown there. Doesn't put all the mustard he needs in. What do we tell you about Drini clicking on making plays? I'm telling you, bullet pass ain't it. Especially that late into a wheel route. And Sony Michelle, former Georgia Bulldog, will rumble down to the 23, and that'll end the first quarter. 7 0. That was Drini's first offensive play. I mean, this, this is a young man, and. Only two seasons of playing Madden football. He's already accumulated around $200,000 in MCS career earnings, and he's not even 21 yet, Scott. Hands it off to Michelle. Get a good block, and he'll get to the edge. You said he's a runner. <laughs> I don't know why he's picked the Patriots. Maybe it's like we're talking about some serious using the Chiefs. They got a weak defense, but when you're this good at usering, especially the run game, you see with the Patriots, not strong, but in the hands of Drini, pretty good. Yeah, absolutely. And he, he's going to be able to mix in plenty of passing plays when he needs to due to Tom Brady and that hot route ability. And you hit it right on the head, Scott. He's so good with the stick work. He doesn't need an elite level running back because he's going to be able to get it done with the Sony Michelles or the James Whites. I mean, with the good showing in this tournament, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's going to clear $200,000. Is that... What I got here, he's at $197,000 in career earnings, Scott. It's just unbelievable. Take a look at it again. Stretch play, and then he'll stretch his legs into the end zone. That's too easy. Two plays leads to the score. He already had a pick six on the opening drive for big thank you menu. It's big time. If you're playing with the Panthers, one thing that I always tell people that I play with them, you got to mix in is those new delayed hot routes on the tight end where you put them on a block and release route, and you can tell them to release by pressing the A button, Scott. You want to do that with Greg Olson because what determines how fast they're going to react to your release is their awareness rating, and Olson has 93 awareness. So he can really take advantage of it, but no dice right now for Big Ty. I wasn't able to give him that speech before this game, unfortunately. I don't know if it would have helped. Third and 19. No scores going on or around our featured matches. You're not missing anything yet, except for Drini putting on a show so far. Newton steps, Look throws, on. picked yeah. off by Stephen Gilmore. He's just clicking on so fast, Scott. And it is a touchdown. Superman. And it's 20 to nothing. That's why they call him the champ. These are plays 
that if he's not clicking on like that, then not getting intercepted. But his reaction time is just at such an elite level. I, I just, as you know, a Madden purist who, who's always appreciated that type of thing, it, it's just so fun for me to watch. 21 to zero for complexity zone, Drini. Sure. There's some action on the floor right now. They are going crazy over one of those games. Is that girls? Who? No, that's not girls. I don't know goes. what happened off stream, but it is nuts in the venue yeah, right now. I love the, it. Goes is up on the big stage with somebody, like somebody had lifted somebody up on their shoulders over there. Like they were carrying them off the field. Oh, oh that's good stuff. See that Snickers replay. I'm sure they'll capture a lot of that in that CW special. That we'll see on the Madden Classic. What do you I'm think Big Time was thinking when he's like, now who do I have in my first matchup? Yeah, you're playing this, you're playing this kid named Drini. There you go. There's McCaffrey. Your Big Time, take advantage of this, man. There's no expectations for you to win this game. Uh, and it's not every day you get a chance to play the best. Like we said, Scott, we can't, I can't go out there and catch a pass from Tom Brady. You show up to the Madden Classic, definitely have a chance to play the defending champion and that's what big time's going through right now you have to use it as a learning experience 21 to nothing second and seven he tries to stiff arm his way maybe got a yard it's going to be third and seven at the 46 yard line he's been able to move the ball a little bit on these last couple drives but when he's had to go to the air and Passing downs, the arm of Newton has let him down. I'm not sure if they're enforcing skunk rule here, Scott, but back in my day when you played, uh, once he went tw down 21. Up top oh, he the got him! And he caught him sleeping. Big time says, not yet, Trady, not yet. Yeah, he told me to stop talking about the skunk <laughs> rule, RG. I'm alive. That's a big play right there. But yeah, back in my day, if you go down 21 and you don't respond the way Big Time just did, game's over. If, if you don't get points after you're down 21 on that drive, they, they would call it a skunk and next. You know, you're next, you're <laughs> off the sticks. But Big Time with a big play right there. And that's got to feel good, even if you are down 27, to go up and get yourself a nice touchdown against the champ. Nowadays, you get the message, your connection to the opponent has been lost. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And, you know, the word pro, Madden pro, or pro gamer, get, it gets thrown around loosely a lot of the time. In my opinion, Drini is a true pro. Like I said, the full-time sponsorship with Complexity, he's collecting a check whether he wins here or not. And you know what? He has the credentials to back it up, does the YouTube thing. It, it, it really is just phenomenal to see, and especially at his young age. Yeah, the owner of Complexity, Jason Lake, about a year and a half, two years ago, I can share this now, reached out to me on Twitter. We've known each other since Counter-Strike 1.3. I'm talking all the way back in the basement ballroom of the Hyatt Regency here in Dallas oh. in the early 2000s. But he was like, hey, I'm thinking about picking a Madden player. Who's a young guy that I should pick up? And I said, if you can get Drini, you should get him. About two years later, here, here he is with complexity, based, as I said, here in Dallas. and. And he delivered. They signed him last year, and in his first year, he went on. Not only won that Cowboys Club Championship, represented him, but then went on to win that Madden Ball, got his second belt. He's been successful, and they've certainly invested back into that success. 21-7 to here. Third and five. If big time can get a stop here. Could be back. Could be interesting. Let's go big time. And remember with Drini, Scott, he was an overtime game away. If he beats Kratobin in that challenge, he's tied with Mike Skimbo with three belts. Will we find another Kratobin this weekend here in Dallas? And you saw Drini right there hit that RB and cover the ball like we talked about right before the impact. True pros pro. A timeout here in the second quarter. Two remaining now for Drini. I think he accidentally hurried up into a spike ball formation. So he'll use a timeout with 55 seconds 
to go ball at the 46. Up under center is Tom Brady. This wing formation is nice. It has a dive, a stretch, and a pitch play. Right there. Very good running formation right here, Madden 20. Resets Gordon. Oakland playbook. And hands it off to Michelle, and Sony will get to the 48-yard line. Two yards shy of midfield, second and nine. It's Poe on the tackle. 40 seconds to go, and Greeny still I think he's got the playing, clock on the move. He's playing for the three, Scott. He wants to be able to... Get himself in field goal range, make it the last possession, make this three possession ball game. Remember, he gets the ball to start the second half. I'm sure that's on his mind as well. Couple substitutions, see Philip Dorsett maybe making his debut at wideout here in this game. And also has the big Ben Watson in there now. I could imagine what kind of dot he's about to cook up right here. Look at big time controlling this corner on the left side of the screen. You don't see that every day. Brady here on third and seven. Low throw, and Gordon will hang on, and there's a timeout. We're going to have some huge highlights at halftime with James and both Sirius Mo. His matchup also goes is playing Phenom right now, and we'll have all those here at the half as Diabolical for that run. That's the only way to describe it, RG. No, he wants to spike it. Good call right there. He gets to the spike. It's professional. Oh, he, he did the spike, spike by accident. And oh. even the champ makes mistakes. Bro. <laughs> the response to that is bro. At the half, Drini, 21, big time seven. Let's head over to James Cope. Scott, thank you. All these belt winners, they're handling business, baby. They're forcing shutouts all over the place. How about this? Sirius Mo planning as, as his favorite team, actually, the Dallas Cowboys. You see that uh, run by Zeke made it 7-0. Would force another turnover on downs, and then Zeke with another touchdown make it 14-0. This is Goes playing as the LA Rams. Gurley makes it 14-0 on that touchdown run. He Goes actually got on the board with a 45-yard Gurley touchdown run. So there you go. Both all these belt winners handling business right now, forcing shutouts all over the place. Back to Scott and RG. Gentlemen, take it away. Well, it's tough to decide which matchup's better right now. And Orstrini's going to get the ball to start this second half if he can push it downfield. But what a rare mistake from Trini. With a fake spike, that cost him three. Yeah, he might. I believe if you hold the X button, that's when you go to the fake spike. To get to the actual spike, you got to hold the B button after the play ends. I wonder if it was a mental mistake. He, he seems surprised about it. I, I got to ask him about that one later. I don't know what happened there. Rare mistake, though. Only Dan Marino thought that was a good idea to close out the half. 21 to 7. As I mentioned, Drini will start with it first. But he was looking to double dip the chip. A little, little field goal, a little opening drive of the second half and in this ball game. High formation. Stretched it out with Sutton. Gets a block. Has a man to beat, try to cut it back. And it'll be dropped at the 43, first and 10. The, the way he hits his running lanes, it's just, he, he just he's so efficient with everything he does. Double tied in once again. He's starting to chew this clock, by the way. Ten carries for 99 yards and a touchdown. And if you're Drini at this point, Scott, I should call it out. You're going to try to get through this game with showing as little as your offense as possible. You know everyone's going to go back, watch the tape on you because you're just that good. They're going to scout you. So if you're Drini, you really want to do as little as you can to finish this game and, you know, save a lot of your dots and, you know, high-powered offensive plays uh, for later in the tournament when you really, really may need them. So just look for him to run this ball, milk that clock, and try to get this game over with as quickly as possible. Well, this time it's James White. Different running back, similar result. Hey, let's get this, get this. New set of downs at the 43. Back to Sony Michelle. 
wrapped up at the 42. He has hit the century mark on the day for Michelle. And it's second and nine. Trini trying to make his title run defense. Last year's champ. The overall champ in Madden NFL 19. Or Skimbo trying to repeat this tournament for the third year in a row win the Classic. Win his fourth belt. Could you imagine if we somehow saw a Drini Skimbo final? Skimbo going for his fourth belt. Drini We've looking to, it. to catch Skimbo and get his third belt. I mean, that's pay per view status right there. And it could happen. A it could happen. Skimbo, it could happen. I mean, they're that good. Skimbo will sit down with Evan in our Fuel to Grind series. Coming up a little later on, it's be interesting to see what the three-time champ has to say about coming in to Madden 20. Michelle this time runs it the opposite way. Kinkley, hello. And again, covering the ball right there, Scott. Simply just holding that RB button as soon as he smells any danger. And it saves him right there, what could have potentially been a fumble had he not been holding that RB button. Michelle once again, can't get away this time. 15 carries for 117 yards as Thompson in on the stop, forcing a third down, but that'll take us to the fourth quarter. There's no reason to snap it here. And he just took away the whole third quarter without throwing one pass. Talk about saving your good stuff for later in the tournament. This is efficiency, Scott. That's going to bring up a third and three. And Big Time's already picked his defense. He went into goal line defense. If I'm dreaming, I come out five wide. See what he does. He needs three. And they will stop him at the 26. And he knows how big this field goal is. Yeah, he's going to kick this field goal. I'm almost positive he's going to make it. Um, and now he's just going to play coverage on defense. So look for him to sit back. Again, not show too much of his hand on defense, uh, much of what he's got. And he's going to run this clock, but this is a good time to show that, see where that A button is. He is going to be an accurate kick. He has no qualms about this getting blocked and it's up and it's good. Yep, and you see that text right there, accurate kick. If you get it in that meter that Scott just called out, that's when you hit the accuracy threshold, you get that accurate kick text, and once you see that text, you know there was no chance for them to block your kick unless someone finds some scum tactic that we're not aware of, which I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, and the first time it ever happens, you'll know about it immediately. Yeah, yeah <laughs> if somebody gets a kick block and it says accurate kick, you know something's not kosher there. First and 10 at the 25. And it looks like in our trio of matches here, all the former belt winners are holding court. Trini actually only one that's given up points and that was on a long bomb to Moore. You know, serious Mo. If I'm complexity, that's another guy I may look at. He, he's a true Cowboys fan. I mean, his middle name is Dallas, Zach Dallas Lane. He's one of the top players for the last several years. Uh, there's a ton of Madden players I'm surprised that just haven't gotten uh, those real deal sponsorships yet, Scott. Because There's a lot of free agent talent out here in the community. And that will fall as an incomplete pass. That sounds like a card chart. Well, Dallas Lane. I mean, you got Moe's a free agent, I, I believe Young Kiv, Ghost. I mean, there's real deal players. If you're at Esports Oregon and, you, and you're looking to find yourself a Madden player, uh, there is plenty of elite guys to go after. Strafing. And there's some Ain't advantage. Pavin, block you. There's just so many of them. Ooh. Uh -oh. Here's Cam Newton, and that's going to be a turnover on downs. So let's check in once again with James Coe. 